Space Rogue. That's right, it's tool time again. So it seems pretty normal for there to be a lot of tool updates each week. Rather than point out once again that we have a bunch of tools, let's just say that we leave a lot on the cutting room floor every week. We just can't report on them all. For a full rundown, simply follow Tool Time on Twitter. We tend to batch everything up once a week as we write the script, so anything we leave out is there. Key updates for this week include Mod Security, the Apache WAF from OWASP, Nikto, the Web Security Scanner, Secubus, the Nessus Utility, Sam Hain, the File Integrity HIDs, ThickNet, the TCP Interception and Injection Framework, and Autologon from SysInternals. Go update. Just as a side note here, we still have no confidence that SourceForge is doing checksum comparisons on any sort of regular basis. Something as simple as running Sam Hain, perhaps. Until they do that, we can't advise installing anything that's hosted there. That would include OWASP stuff. OWASP? Okay, into the fresh. There's some neat new stuff this week, including Volatility. Volatility is a Python-based forensics framework for extracting digital artifacts from volatile memory samples. In other words, it can grab the key pool from memory before you shut the box off and haul the disk out for imaging. Version 1.4 is under the new GPL. Splunk for OSSEC is a package of parsing logic safe searches and dashboards for monitoring the OSSEC host based intrusion detection system via Splunk. Warning, it takes some setup to get it to work. Nix is an online password cracker built for parallel brute force of logins over HTTP and HTTPS forms. The notable part about Nix is its SOX and proxy support, which includes proxy tumbling and retry without proxy. Look for MySQL, SSH, FTP, and IMAP support in the near future. One final new one for you all this week. Insider had a version 2.x release this week. Insider is a Wi-Fi network scanner for Vista and XP. So if you've had OS Envy watching all those NetStumbler users, you're in luck. On a closing note, NetWitness got a plug from Ron Gula this week. He's not the only one that really digs their Spectrum product. Although Tan thinks the name is a little too close to Speculum. That's it for this week's Tool Time. Join us next week for our salute to Tool Time.